church as a ministry, you're going to be called upon to go overseas to establish some things. And it's like you're going to do apostolic work, but it's going to be about the prophetic. And I see this lady having something to do with that. But they're going to say, will you come over and set us up a school of the prophets, a, a, a woman's thing, or, I don't know what you call all that stuff that, that, it, that it's called. They know they want it, and they know God said do it, but they don't know how. Mm -hmm. And they're going to call you and say, will you come and stay three days and set this up for us, teach us, train us, show it how it works, and then you'll leave and they'll be off and running. So I hear the word of the Lord saying, you're ready to be a teacher to the teachers. Get ready to be a prophet to the prophet. Get ready uh, even to see in realms that you have not seen before. Now, do y'all do stuff together or something? Oh. Barbara was here. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. I, it's making sense now. Okay. Um. Okay, cause I, cause see, I see you doing some stuff, and it's like she's helping you or something. But it's like a mother daughter thing. It's it's a um, it's a different thing. It's like you're gonna say, I I'm gonna hold the meeting and do this, this, and this, and you do the classes and be sure they're on time about this, this, and this. There's a there's a system you're gonna develop between each other, and people are gonna call you from all over the nation to come and and do set that system up for their house, for their church, and uh, school the prophets and different things like that. So I hear the word of the Lord say, it's like you being like a big pot of soup sitting on the stove, just simmering. <laughs> just saying, am I ever going to be done? And I mean, is this, am I ever going to do anything? And I hear the word of the Lord saying, just as you have allowed me to simmer you, so shall your prophetic gift be. In quietness and in confidence, you shall go forth prophetically. And when everybody around is prophesying and everything, the kings and the queens and the ambassadors will say, what do you say? What do you say? For you will be known for your short, blunt, to-the-point prophecies that will go like an arrow towards its mark. So I hear the word of the Lord said, the word will be, if, if, if you don't want to be messed up, don't get around her because she'll mess up your life, your mind, your day. She'll mess up everything. Because I hear the word of the Lord said, I'm going to cause you to prophesy on a level that is not here yet. But you will begin to taste the first fruits of it. And all this crazy stuff that happens around you and when you sleep and the dreams and all that, I hear the word of the Lord say, I'm causing your physical body and your mind to adjust to the realm you're about to walk into. Because if you didn't adjust, you would like shake all the time. And I hear the word of the Lord say, He's redefining, reworking your physical body so you're comfortable in that realm. I hear the word of the Lord saying something new and something great. And you have not set and simmered for nothing. God said, you have waited on him. Watch what I do, thus says the Lord. I hear the word of the Lord saying, I'm raising up daughter prophets around you that are going to give to you. Mm. I hear the word of the Lord saying, that, see, I know you personally, but then I know what God said. I see you giving of your last stuff, of your last, of your last. And I hear the word of the Lord say, I'm going to raise up some rich women around you. Some of them in California, some of them here, some of them in California right here, and then some of them go up and in California right here. Now I hear the word of the Lord say, I'm going to call these women to give material things. And you'll have to go with two with a suitcase and two empty ones to carry back the spoil. So I hear the word of the Lord saying, I see you with a, a, a suitcase and it's full of pocketbooks and Louis Vuitton and Gucci. All right. All right. All right. All right. Is it? All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I hear the Lord saying just gifts from, from everywhere. And God said it's going to be so funny that at times you're going to say, God, you do know I need money too, don't you? Because it's going to be stuff 
gonna be stuff you're gonna take one suitcase and come back with three. Gonna be people gonna be compelled to give you stuff. Now hear the word of the Lord saying this is the beginning of your wealth that will begin to flow in. But God said, I will strategically set you among women of substance that are compelled to give to you. For what you have sown in private, you shall reap in public. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. I hear the word of the Lord saying, there's some uh, some young businessmen up and coming, they're not established yet, but they're million, meant to be millionaires. I hear the word of the Lord saying, they're going to come here, there's going to be a school of entrepreneurs here, and the prophetic anointing is what's going to cover them and season them. I see some, what looks like professional athletes, some professional uh, ball people and people coming here, but... But more than them coming here, I hear the word of the Lord saying, now be comfortable with this. Because I see some athletes and stuff not coming here, but sending their tithe here. I, I, I don't want to make nobody mad or anything like that. But I see a lot of young men that are traveling and are not here, but they're sending their tithe. And they're sending off and they're sending sick. I hear the word of the Lord saying, your mailbox is going to become a place of visitation. Right. Yeah. 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 I hear the word Lord saying, from the north, south, east, and west, even places you go in ministry, they'll say, we don't have anybody to tie to your mailbox. We don't know what to do with this. Your mailbox. It's coming to your mailbox. Coming to your mailbox. Because I hear the word of the Lord saying, from the north, south, east, and west, he's releasing wealth and finances. And some of the people you won't see but once a year, but their checks you'll see every night. You're about to be Come on now. You're about to be able to do anything you want to do. And people are going to scratch their heads and say, Where in the world are they getting their money? Where in the world are they? Have you seen the way she looks? Have you seen the way she dresses? Did you see that Gucci bag? What how are they how are they doing all this stuff? Because there's substance for you in the mailbox. I hear the word of the Lord saying the uh, apostles and the uh, pastors have been hesitant to cover those that travel. And they're looking for somebody while in their travels will still mentor them and pastor them and not put pressure on them to come back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I hear the word of the Lord saying, get ready for some members to come here. And they may just come once or twice a year, but they're going to tithe all year. And I hear the word of the Lord saying, as these come and go and come and go, God said, when they come once or twice a year, you'll set three or four days aside to spend with them and just impart into them and pour into them. Because God said, they'll not go lacking spiritually. They'll not go lacking spiritually. So I hear the word of the Lord say, I'm giving you a, a, a different pattern and a different plan and a different form for those that do not stay in one place. But I hear the word of the Lord saying, great will be the reward from those that travel, thus says the Lord. Amen. Go ahead and stand your feet in honor of the Lord. You got your seed ready? This is not tithe and this is not offering. Who is Martha? I just heard Martha somebody. Is there a Martha here? Excuse me. Uh, what's your name, honey? Excuse me. Marsha. Here, lift your hands up, Marsha. Sorry, missed it by letter. Don't bother me if it don't bother you. I hear the word of the Lord saying, you have literally been stripped and robbed. And, and uh, I'm not going to meddle into your business or anything, but much of it has been through the church. And I hear the word of the Lord saying, I'll be responsible for that. And I'm going to do a whole restoration of your whole life. God said, I'm going to set you in a whole.